Today we are going to talk about a common disease, shoulder pain. This disease manifests as pain in the shoulder, particularly at night. It is aggravated when the weather changes and with fatigue. There is tenderness in the anterior, posterior, and lateral aspects of the shoulder that significantly limit. The movements such as elevation, abduction, and extension behind the back. Sometimes your shoulder may feel more sensitive to cold, since there is a higher incidence of this condition in individuals around 50 years old, women more than men. It is also called 50-year-old shoulder in Chinese medicine. This problem didn't start overnight; it's a progressive process. In Chinese medicine, shoulder pain is mainly caused by chronic strain, shoulder trauma, qi and blood deficiency, and exposure to wind, cold, damp. Another cause is the lack of nutrition of the muscles and bones, and qi and blood. Deficiencies associated with aging, so we can treat it by massage and do some exercise to relax the muscles and tendons to promote the circulation of qi and blood. Let me show you how to treat it in detail. Step one: We should relax the muscles and tendons by treating the sick area with kneading for five to ten minutes. Step two, we need to know some useful acupoints which can help you to relieve the pain. Those acupoints include Jian Yu, Jian Liao, Jian Zhen. Where are they? Look at some pictures. These are all located around your shoulder. We have some easy way to find them. First, Jian Yu and Jian Liao. When your arm is abducted or raised forward, two depressions on the shoulder will appear. The anterior depression is Jian Yu, the other one is Jian Liao. Next, Jian Zhen is one soon above the posterior end of the axillary fold, and then you also need to find out where is the most painful spot. Step three: Press and knead the points above forcefully with the middle finger for five to ten minutes. You may feel soreness and distension at these points. Step four: Rotate your shoulder, move it all around in every direction. Don't use too much effort. Rotate in large circles. Continue to circle it a few times in order to enhance the effect. After each treatment, there are also some suggestions for you when you are at home. First, hot pack. You can put a hot towel on the shoulder and changing it if it is not hot anymore. Repeat this until you feel comfortable. Try always to keep your shoulder warm. Especially at night while sleeping. Second, functional exercise. A. Let your fingers climb up the wall. Stand in front of the wall. Lift your arm and use your fingers to climb up the wall as far as you can. Remark the place you reached the first time, and try to do better than that next time. The exercise is done two or three times a day, each time for five to ten minutes. It can help you to enlarge the range of your shoulder movement. B. Swing the hands, clench both fists gently, and swing the upper limbs from the front to the back, first to the left side, then to the right side. Afterwards, drop the upper limbs. At the two sides of the body, 
and swing the hands. Repeat this movement for twenty-four times, respectively. The exercise has the action of promoting qi flow and blood circulation, making the upper limbs healthy. In Chinese medicine, we consider that the best way to solve the problem is to prevent it. Therefore, in order to prevent the shoulder pain, there are also some suggestions here for you. First, keep warm, especially when the weather changes. Second, protect your shoulder. Third, do not stay in the same position for a long time. Take a break and move your shoulder. Every forty minutes.